Before replacing the screen assembly, we need to check out the True Tone display function, and whether it still works as usual or not. Long press to turn it off. Use a pentagon screwdriver to unscrew the screws at the bottom of the phone. Pay attention to putting the screws aside well. Set the heating pad temperature to 90 degrees Celsius. Place the screen face down on the heating pad for about 2 to 3 minutes. After heating, we use a clamp fixture to separate the screen. Place the phone down on the fixture, and rotate the screw to clamp the screen. The suction cup will clamp the screen. Rotate another screw to separate the screen. Drop a little alcohol around the frame. It will release the stickiness temporarily in this way. Use a pry piece to jam the phone screen. Then twist the screw and take down the suction cup. Rotate the screw and take down the phone. Gradually remove the screen around the edge of the display, slowly separate the screen from the case. The display assembly is still connected to the iPhone by cables. So don't try to remove it completely. Pay attention to the position of the cable to avoid damage. The angle should not be over 90 degrees, to prevent breaking the flex cable. Use a tri-wing screwdriver to unscrew the screws, on the shielding cover of the touch, display, and battery. Take them off. Use a spudger slightly extricate the battery, and the connector between the screen and motherboard. Remove the display assembly. Here's the repart screen assembly, a new replacement. Read the old screen data with a programmer. Start reading. The reading part is done. Connect the new screen assembly on the programmer. Start writing. Place the old screen assembly on the heating pad. Use a tri-wing screwdriver to unscrew the screws on the earpiece connector. And take down the earpiece cable. Tear off the protector of a new screen assembly. Reassemble the earpiece cable on the new screen assembly. Tighten the screws. Reassemble the display cable, touch cable, and earpiece cable continuously. Long press to turn it on. We're gonna do some screen related tests first. True Tone Testing Touch Testing All is working normally. Long press to turn it off. Install the shielding cover, and tighten the screws. Since we use the clamp fixture to separate the screen at the beginning, which could save the original waterproof adhesive. So we don't have to replace it with a new waterproof adhesive. Buckle the phone screen, and tighten the screws at the bottom.
turn it on again. The screen shows everything is normal. Thank you for your watching.